Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tech Shop Coffee Talk, episode 11, or as we are going to start branding it, Epic 11. Or do you, Ross? Hey, good evening, Bruce. It's great to be here, and episode 11 is... Uh, Epic. Epic 11. There we go. Yes. <laughs> it's hard to believe, uh, you know, we're getting better and we're having more fun. And uh, I'm glad that uh, you've partnered with me to do this. And uh, I'm glad that we're able to uh, share our coffee and uh, talk tech shop. And that's what we're here for. So today, I hope everybody gets uh, a piece of something to take away on value. We're doing this to bring value to people. Um, you know, we're we not getting real tech, technical, but yet we're covering the basics on technical. Um, you know, if there's something that is more technical that you have questions or things about and whatnot, reach out to us. Um, comment below, like, Bruce says share, um, subscribe, right? Am I getting it? Yes, yes, so, sir. All right. So um, over you, and Bruce. Tell everyone, and, and tell everyone else about it. Well, well um, before, before there, Bruce, uh, you know, before we end the deal, yeah. I, I did come up with uh, four tips for today's show. Okay. Well, and, what, uh, what are the and oh, and the four so the four, four tips? tips the four tips are four steps to success. Okay. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna cover those in the process tonight too. So and and I'm gonna talk about a new book I started reading thanks to Ross encouraging me to get a book, and then we got some technical stuff we're gonna just touch base on. Awesome. Awesome. Old school versus new school. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I guess I'm the old school then, I imagine. That's probably... No, I think I'm older than you, so I'm old, old, I don't, old school. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> well, you sure don't look it if you are. Well, I, I, I do, and I don't act it either. But that's thanks <laughs> to G-Fix. G-Fix fixes me so I, I can stay young. There you go. There you go. That stuff's amazing. Now, so. now hold on. What is G-Fix? You've got to click on the link below here in the description. Either go to Ross's link or my link where it says healthy coffee, go down there, scroll and, and find G fix. And what it is, it's a superfood uh, that can change your life. Like I don't get the flu shot. I get the G fix. I take there it every morning <laughs> and I just get, it gives me the fix. It builds up my immune system, gives you energy, keeps you going. And you don't need that. It's, you it's don't need the, the sniffles or the flu. It's in the toolbox. G fix. <laughs> <laughs> it's just there. But, like say, Ross me, we don't get paid for doing this. So please, no, we don't. all those people watching, we just thank you for watching. We're not going to sell you t-shirts or, or plastic things that you buy from China. All we ask is you click on the link, buy a bag of coffee, or if you want to change your life and stay healthy, build up your immune system, order some G-Fix from Ross. Yeah, we do have an amazing program. So don't, uh, don't, don't think it's shy or don't pass it by. So um, take And, act, and take reach out to both of us. Out. As you realize, both of us are just ready, willing, and able to talk. I do apologize. One of us does has one of us does has an accent, and uh, you, you just have to forgive us about that. It's part of the the transcontinental thing going on. But we're both techs, and uh, that's what brings us together, and that's where the tech shop coffee uh, comes together, and that's why yes, we're here. Sir. So, Bruce. So before we get into that, can we just can can I do a highlight on a book? Yeah, do it, man. Bring it up. What What do you got? I got by Jack Canfield. Okay. The Success Principles. Awesome. Awesome. So what it is is how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Ooh, strong. And, and, and I want to just touch base the very, very first chapter. And a lot of people that want to change their life, what you need to do, whatever it is. First thing, step number one, you need to take 100% ownership in your life. Don't say, well, it's my girlfriend's fault. It's my boss's fault. It's the economy's fault. It's the weather's fault. It's, it's where I grew up. It, you got to stop all that nonsense and just quit living in the past. You got to live in the now and say, from this point on, I control my life. The choices you make determine your future it's not it's not who you're married to it's not who who their relatives are it's not where you work it's the choices you make and as soon as you realize and take 100 percent control of your life 
then you have the control and the power to change your life. And, and Bruce, that is, that is, <laughs> um, that's easy for some people, but there's a lot of people that is not easy to do. I, and I know, but that's mindset. the first step. That's the first step. It is, it is. And it's a mindset. And I, mm-hmm. uh, you know, a lot of poor people, a lot of broke people don't step out of that mindset to take ownership for that. They pass that on because the, because of the fear factor, the fear factor steps in there and they're afraid to take ownership because they may have to pay or they may suffer or they may find the fact of because of that fear factor and fear holds those people down when they should be stepping forth. So now, Okay, can I? So in Canada, we just had an election on Monday, and we, you know, like the Democrats or Republicans, we had the Liberals and Conservatives, and we have a few other parties. But the the, the Democrats, as you'd know them, or the Liberals here in Canada, won again, but they they won less seats, so they have they don't have full control. So it's uh, it's a minority government, so that means uh, they could fall at any time. They may not last four years, but we'll see how that goes. But even back to that and poor people, a lot of people saying, well, I hope the one party gets in or I hope the other party gets in. So, you know, I'll get a whole bunch of free stuff and my life will be better. But here we go. <laughs> if we stop and we think and you take responsibility, it doesn't matter who's in power. It's up to you to change your life. If you want to change your life, it's always will end and begin with you. So it doesn't matter if Donald Trump's in power. It doesn't matter if. Mitt Romney's in power. It doesn't matter who's in power. Yep. If you want to change your life, it's up to you. It's not up to, oh, I got to wait for when the Democrats get back in and then my life will be better. No, it, it, it's, it, if, you, if you talk to a lot of wealthy people, they're not waiting to, to see who gets in power before they take action. They already have a plan. They probably have a plan A, plan B, and plan C, depending who's in power. But yep. that's all. It has and- nothing. It doesn't determine their future. Yep. And, and they're action takers They're Yes. And because they're action takers, they are taking up for themselves. They are taking responsibility for that. And I think, I think we've got a whole world of, um, a whole generation of kids and, and adults coming up that, uh, are not action takers and they do not take they, they do criticism. not take the well they take the criticism or or they give the criticism <laughs> but they're not taking responsibility for their own actions they they're blaming well, it on us they want to vote for more free stuff for them yeah yeah get, so, so can i say now, another word a different yeah. word it might offend some people they feel entitled very much so um and that's a problem yeah and i and i I think there's a I think there's a whole generational um, gap there of of one of the uh, generation groups that's that way more so than another group. Um, I'm not yeah. gonna I'm not gonna name which one it is because it, it rhymes with an be- M. It rhymes <laughs> with an M. It's the me the me group. <laughs> it's the million makers, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we won't go there. So so yeah, we, we all have some problems going on there. But what we want to say here is. You know what the beautiful thing is? If you want to change your life, Ross here and me could give you an opportunity where if you change your mindset and you're thinking, we have the tools to change your, change your life. Yep. Yep. So. You know, and, and, you know, I uh, got the opportunity uh, here a couple of days ago working, working where I was working and uh, there was a, it's a outfit and there was a young kid there that's been hired on. Mm-hmm. And uh, he actually came in, and, and this just shocked me to no end. Um, he asked me if he could watch over my shoulder what we're doing. And he says, hey, I'm here, and, and I'm doing it. He said, I, I want to learn it. You know, and yeah. I'm like, this, uh, I look back, and I'm like, you're not a millennial. What? <laughs> 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 so I turned to him and I said, listen, I said, I've got 24 years of experience plus. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I says, I'll be more than happy yeah. 
to share with you, to show you, to help you, to guide you in any way. And, and before we were done and I left that day and I said, listen, here's my number. I yep. said, call me anytime, mm-hmm. you know, you want to know it. If I can share it with you, if I can help you with it, yep. I'll do that. You know, it's not all about money. I'll help you. Yep. I mean, that makes my job easier because if he's got a problem, I can just, I can walk him through it on the phone, you know, yeah. it, it saves you some grief. You bet. So, you know, there are people out there that are action takers and, and step like that. And, you know, he, that kid's going to go a long ways because he's, he's taking action and he yeah. is going to own it because that's a mindset. So everyone who's watching this video and you're, you're on the fence, please take ownership of everything in your life. Stop. And if you change your mindset, you will change your life with a lot so. of action, with a lot of action. Yep. If you just change your mindset, but still sit on the sofa and watch TV. Uh, I can predict your future and it's not, <laughs> nothing's going to change. So <laughs> couch, couch potatoes only get smashed. <laughs> yes. Um, so, so, so enough about uh, good old God bless Jock. Jack Canfield. What are the four secret steps that, that you're going to tell us there about success? Well, you know, the, the four steps to success, and we've touched a little bit on, on one of them here. Um, the first one is getting started. Okay. So, you know, that's crucial, and, and that's – it's funny, but that is the hardest step for people. Yeah. Ma- making that first commitment because the, the fear steps in – um, what if I can't do it or what if I can't live up to it or whatever I can't follow through to it or whether I can't duplicate after it or whether I can't do what you want me to do or, yeah. or in that process. And, you know, the fear steps in and the fear takes over. But yeah. you've got to be bold. And like Cranefield says in his book, you know, take ownership. Hey, take ownership, step forward, take action and get started. Because yeah. To get started, you got to take that first step, and th- and that first step is getting started. And you know, if you're going to go on a journey of a thousand miles or a ten thousand yep. miles or a life journey, uh, it all starts with one step. No, you got to call Boz Travel first and reach out to Ross and ask for a deal. And we're going to set you up with getting started on that first step. <laughs> uh, for, that's for a holiday or, or travel. But we, sorry, I, I had to plug you. Uh, plug it there. And, and if you don't get in here soon on that and uh, catch up with that, uh, you'll have to get back with us and get a Vaz pass, which uh, they're going to be great to have too. But uh, the founding positions are what's awesome right now because we're just, yeah, it, it, we're going to change, we're going to change the world. Um, people yep. don't realize that, that uh, this company is going to change the world. We're going to change the way people do business, um, especially in the direct sales. Um, I see that. That's a vision that I see. And uh, I'm, I know that's also the vision that our owner sees because he's the one that's uh, structured it and is putting it all together. So um, it's big. It's huge. It's but, amazing. But there again – back to the first step to success and i don't care if it's i don't care if it's success in in your own home success yeah. at your job success anywhere the first step is getting started so that's yeah. number that's number 1 um number 2 and this one is confusing to a lot of people it's be a product of the product um yeah. that can be taken many ways being a product of the product one is Um, Are you using the product? Are you getting the results from the product? Are you promoting the product? Are you um, showing people what the product does and so on and so forth? For example, you don't get flu if you take G-Fix. Right. So, you know, also the issue being a product of the product too is not presenting something over here on the left hand side but yet you're something else on the right hand side you, you mean be a, a be of be of character and be of um moral value moral Correct. character moral character i believe is a, a good moral character with a good value in that sense and being a product of the product so being a product product is 
and I don't, in saying that, I don't want to just say it's not taking the pills and the potions and the, and the, and the oils and, and the hand creams and the G fix and everything else that goes with it. Okay. And drinking the coffee. Yeah. All right. Yes, that is a part of it, but it's, but it's also um, supporting the company, backing the company, learning, yeah. learning the details of the company so that I know what it is. Um, so it's digging in getting in and taking ownership and becoming a part of that too. So it's kind of a two part, but when yep. people say be a product of the product, the first thing that pops in their brain is, well, I've got to take the pills. I got to take the drink. I got to do this. And you know, I'm sorry, but that's not for everybody. Yeah. But cause, cause there are people that I promise you, uh, they come in the business and they never buy the product. And I know that's hard to believe, but, that is hard to believe, but but at the same time, they're in it for the money, and and there are those people. And so they just take the money <laughs> and try the money. <laughs> they build they build the business and they build the team. Yeah, yeah. In that process, so you know, there's ways to do that, and and some people are good at that, and some aren't. But yeah. most most people are involved with the product because they like the product. The product is yeah. good, and you want to support and back that product. So it's being a product, the product. Um, so that's number two. That's number two. Okay. Number th number three. Yes. Sir. So um, of the four steps to success yep. is build a team. That makes sense. Now, keep in mind, building a team. The word team doesn't have I in it. T You're right. It has me. Okay. It has me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I am sorry. I up a lot of that. <laughs> but uh, um, uh, so you know, you later, Ross. <laughs> it's it's working with that of building a team, building that structure, yeah. um, working the mindset, learning the yeah. skills, yeah. every everything that's involved with building a team. And you know what? There's uh, Bruce has got ideas. I've got ideas. My leader's ideas. Our owner has ideas. But you know what? It all comes down to we all got to work together, and yeah. and here's the key word: we've got to listen. Now, what's that, Ross? We've got to listen. Listen. <laughs> exactly. I'm messing <laughs> you know, with you. There. And that's a, and that's a tough one that uh, that we've really learned this week with our with our leader. Um, mm -hmm. We hear, but are we listening? And that's big in building a team. Active listening is a very hard skill to to master. Yes, and and to top that off, I listened to a video just before we got on tonight mm -hmm. that uh, one of the one of the oh popular speakers was on. Um, I'll I'll mention his name, Gary V. He's kind of a off the cuff guy, um, but he had a, he had a thing on there of of a secret that in building your team and mm -hmm. he was talking about reaching out to everybody in your in your contacts in your phone mm -hmm. and he said in your wording it's very keyed in your wording so he said for example he said reach out to these people and it's and it's not do you want to make money or or do you want to buy my product or do you want to do this or do that or whatnot mm -hmm. He said, you reach out and say, hey, who do you know that would like to do this or that wants to do this? And you do it in a referral asking manner. Mm -hmm. You'll not, find more not, people that way. And, and the key word was, do you want to do this? Do you want this? Do you want that? No. It's changing those words around in the key words were, who do you know? Yeah. And just that simple changing of the phrase changed the whole persona of the conversation. And it takes pressure off the person. Correct. And it puts it, they can, they're no longer feeling sold to, but Intimidated. Still open to, they, they still will listen to the presentation or the information. And though by, by doing that, you, you break down a wall there. You, you break down a major wall. So, you that's know, that's a, done. that's just a, that's a key step in building a team is, mm -hmm. is your choice of words. So mm -hmm. think about your choice of words and, and what you're doing. Um, and that goes along with the number four. Okay. Um, and number four 
is paying attention to the trainings and the duplication. Yeah. So it's, and that also steps back to being a product of the product. So you yes. to, so to pay attention to the trainings, I got to be into the trainings. I got to be involved with the trainings. I got to yeah. be involved with the team doing mm -hmm. the duplication. Okay. That, those are all things paying attention. I am paying all attention because I'm working with the team. I'm yeah. working with the group. So that all ties together. And those, those were four strong keys to success. So, you know, those are the tips that I, I bring in tonight for value. Um, I hope mm -hmm. you find value. And, and if you do, uh, down here below, like Bruce says, <laughs> um, put down there that you got value from the video and uh, let us know that you're getting value. And we want to know that, that you're receiving that value. And uh, if you've got other things that uh, of value to, uh, reach out to us and let us know. So yes, pop that down below. So now, Bruce, go ahead. Now, can we touch base on old school versus new, new school when it comes to the tech world? You bet, you bet. And that's a, that's a huge one. So for me, um, in my industry, we used to use a lot of tubes transistors you know like glass tubes where you have the filament ac heats yep. up and, and yep. i got they, i got had tubes i got to go out and shoot those with a bb gun when i was a kid because my dad had was changing them out all the time and i got his old ones and i got to go so shoot them. <laughs> radios um televisions a lot of them had these tubes and you put them in and it all the magic happened well even where i work now we still have a few things with tubes in them but they're very, very high powered FM and, and uh, AM transmitters. I, have a, I still have a Continental 50 kilowatt AM transmitter, which was built in, wow. in 1947 from the States. It's, it's I think, serial number, it's four, four, 432, I think, this baby. She, not, it's the 400th one that was built, you know? Uh -huh. so, it's, so very good, very old, but still running and still has wow. lots of tubes in it. But, um, but uh, that's kind of so, that's kind of like an old record player still's got this the <laughs> same kind of idea, but but on yeah. a bigger scale, a lot bigger scale. But the thing is, when that stuff breaks, it's easy. You go, you find the tube, you pull it out, you put a new one in. So you have a lot of stuff break. You have to troubleshoot. You repair the parts. But let's fast forward ahead to my digital digital TV transmitter. Mm -hmm. That's all condensed. It's all computerized and the software is proprietary and they won't even give us the tools to look at it all we can do is this troubleshoot is it part a b or c and whichever part's broken you pull it out and you put it in a box and you fedex it to harris in, uh -huh. in, Qu in quincy illinois uh -huh. so how is and, that fair well you know that that goes kind of in our line too um tech guys like you and i bruce are, are get, becoming few and far between um, there, there's still a lot of them out there and, and yeah. by any means, I am not the greatest tech in the world. I, I'll claim it to be, there's guys greater th than me. There's, there's people that we reach out to, too. It's just a, it's a yeah. network. Yeah. But, sure. but, you know, in that sense, um, the new, the new old and the new, like you said, we fixed them. We changed the tubes. We mm -hmm. changed the things. Those guys nowadays they're parts changers yeah you know which one is it i don't know but change all of them um if i change all of them it works okay but uh, if you change all of them that's a new that's a new transmitter <laughs> well <laughs> yeah but 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 they're the they're the new techs that made it work <laughs> should, I, should i change the building too and the tower why don't we why don't we move everything to a different town you know, it's, it's, it's insanity and some, you some know stuff, but yeah but at the same time, some of that technology, Bruce, is great. Um, I, I like my HD TV when I yeah. when I do watch it. I'm not a big watcher of it, but when I do watch it, I like my HD. Yeah. But at the same time, I keep losing signal on it because it's digital. Where them old the school them old, and them a, old yeah. school amplifiers didn't lose <laughs> signal. <laughs> It goes snowy on you, but it's so good. <laughs> now, now after ten o'clock at night, when when somebody shut the switch off and it, yeah, it's, you know, it's done. <laughs> yeah, 
Or they lower the power on it to save money. Or, or, you, walk, or you walk into the TV room and dad's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that on. I was watching it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. Well, they, were listen- they were listening to it. But no, it's amazing, though, the skills that we had, even the way, like you're saying, sequence of events, troubleshooting, you know, oh, a, B, C, and then now some of the newer stuff. You have a the PLC or the processor. It, it's got a display there. It does all that for you. It says, "Oh, stage one, two, three, alar- alarm. Stage four, stage four. You know what yep. I mean? So you don't even have to think anymore, which is yep. dangerous. <laughs> it, it is, and it you know it's it's really strange. And I just had a situation today on a on a unit yep. um, that it quit working. Yeah, and, and it faults out on a fault code. Yeah, but even though the fault code says that it's not working, yes. technically, old school, it was working. Yeah. But at the same time, the two wouldn't get along with each other to make it work. Ooh. <laughs> so, so somewhere you, someone with experience, would would troubleshoot and figure, oh, there's this or that's wrong, and fix it. Whereas maybe some of the newer experience it well let's just throw well, the, unit, the new one in here's here's the example my my new kid was working on it and yeah he tested it and he called me on the phone he tested it and he says it it, it proves good so yep. what do i do and i'm like well you know what you got to go back through and you got to check this you got to check this well it says that it's working i'm like i don't care that it says it even though the computer says it working doesn't mean it's you working. gotta go you gotta go back and check it well oh need, yeah needless to say i went over to help him out and bail him out and and uh, it was a little glitch on the back but it was a mechanical glitch yeah that loose connection the, or something the switch yeah. the switch yeah. and the circuitry was working and doing what it was supposed to do <laughs> yeah, yeah and and it was a tube and a drain and and it was plugged and they had a blockage to it and we cleared that uh, and you know yeah, what yeah. it all works fine but yeah. but there's that old and the new the new guy didn't yeah. know that now yeah. us us older guys because hey it's broke you gotta fix it you can't change the part you gotta fix it you you can't you can't pull it out and put a new one yeah you know yeah uh you know when i grew up when the tractor when the tractor broke you didn't go down and buy a new engine no no in fact even even if you even if you blew the engine you pull that one apart find the part that fix it and put it back together and, and you tear that whole thing down until you find the part that's that's not working or you find the part that's broken or and then you or disappeared or and then you get that up. part and you put all that back together that's what you did you know yeah. you, nowadays yeah. you just go down and go it's broke give me another engine <laughs> yeah but that's the, the old gone. Yeah. that's that's the old and the new and and yeah. uh, you know i think i think we're going to see a lot more of that but, but the way they're building some of this stuff now, it's really, really, really hard to fix. They're not making a lot of cars, you, you, like they're making it so it's, it's hard for common folk like us to work on them. Some of the stuff you have to drop the engine just to get at pieces to replace the yep. pieces that are in places that they, they don't want you to work on it. They want to, they're trying to make it so difficult, like I'm referring to cars and stuff. Yep. That, unless you're in the shop and you have the right specific tool you can't get your fingers in there to fix it well, i i changed a part on mine here not too long ago and i went in there and tried to take it out and i'm like i looked at it and it is it was the radiator on the front end yeah yeah and usually it's a few bolts and you pop it out and i'm like this yeah. doesn't work well come to find out i looked at it it was about five bolts i dropped five bolts and i dropped the whole front end off of it yeah and i could do anything i wanted but wow. those five bolts, if I didn't take them off, it would have been, it, I could get my hands in there. <laughs> yeah, it, it's game over, isn't it? So, yep. No, but, yep. but they, That's without the new. But, but here again, uh, so, so with the new technology, you can go on YouTube, find the information, and figure it out too. So, some stuff, even if you don't have those skills, you can get that information, learn it quickly, and then go and fix it, which is pretty amazing. It is. It is, and and you. But know, you got to be a little bit handy. You do. You do. It takes a little bit, but awesome, awesome, Bruce. Yeah. Well, hey, um, 
I, I think we're wrapping up uh, to an end here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, I think we brought good value tonight and I, and you brought in a great book and I think that's all good. It's and awesome. uh, I think everybody knows what we do and we knows that we don't get paid. And we know that uh, this is episode uh, 11, 11. Yeah? Epic, 11. Epic 11. And uh, we uh, hope you come back for number 12. So we are Please excited. Like, here. share, comment, and, 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 uh, just subscribe to this channel. So click the, and if you click the bell, it will notify you every time we upload a, another uh, YouTube video. So awesome. you got to click awesome. the bell too there. So it's all awesome. <laughs> well, Bruce, with that, I think uh, let's wrap it up tonight. Yes. Sir. And uh, it was a pleasure joining with you again tonight to bring value and to bring tips to everybody here on uh, tech shop coffee talk. Thank so. you very much everybody for, for, for joining us for the come last back, half. Come back next week, same place, same bad time. And yes, sir. Uh, have a great week. Awesome. You too, Ross, and everybody out there.